Hi, everybody. Kevin Broughton coming at you from Success Unlimited. I uh, hope that you've tuned into our platform and gotten some great tools and tips and strategies to have a better business. And if you have, you know that we have a, uh, a platform within the Success Unlimited family called Women of Success. And it's an easy, easy platform for us because we have so many powerful, wonderful women at this company. And we've highlighted a number of them in the past. And today is another awesome episode of a wonderful woman who I really care about a lot and is just one of the best people I know. And uh, without any further ado, I'd like to introduce my friend from Jacksonville, Florida, Miss Christine Kennedy. Christine, how are you? I'm wonderful. Hi, Kevin. How are you? I'm great. Thanks so much for being on the show. We appreciate it. I, I appreciate your time. Thanks. Thank you for the invite. I appreciate it. How's everything in lovely Jacksonville, Florida? So it's January and, you know, it's sunny and bright and beautiful and you could wear shorts and tank top if you wanted. So how's Michigan? A little, a little different than where I'm sitting right now. We won't talk about where I'm sitting. So uh, <laughs> not tank top and shorts. I can guarantee you that. So, uh, but Christine is one of the true professionals in our industry. Um, she is just unbelievable. She's built a real business. Um, she's built a real life and, She's just done some wonderful things within the mortgage space to create uh, exceptionalism. And not only is she super kind and a wonderful human being, but she's also a guideline guru. She knows her craft. She is uh, a, a true, uh, just just wonderful person when it comes to everything about the loan origination business. So I'm going to start, Christine, with if you don't mind taking us back a few years, how did you get into the mortgage industry and what was your first job in it? It was wonderful. I was 22 coming out of college and I was the manager of a healthcare facility. And my best friend's brother was an IT person at Merrill Lynch and said, you should give me your resume. <laughs> I interviewed with Merrill Lynch. They were hiring. It was a boom. It was an entry level position. And they put you in a classroom from nine to five for eight weeks and they teach you everything you need to know about mortgages and tax returns and income and assets and how to talk to their million dollar customers. And it was great. I was there for six years. Great. And they taught me how to do a mortgage, the basics Good. of how to read a paycheck, how to read a W-2 and how to read a tax return. And once you have that knowledge, you have it for the rest of your career. A W-2 is a W-2, a 1040 is a 1040 and 1120 is an 1120. I love it. I love it. So then you went from there. And if, if I'm right, is that when you went immediately into the in-house uh, lending at the real estate company? I did. And then another friend said, you know, that uh, there's a local real estate company here and you should interview and they do mortgages, you know. So I started with them and I was there for 17 years and right. in -house, inside of real estate office and it was it was really a wonderful experience because that's where they taught me about relationships and relationship building and what a what a realtor point of view is. What what do they look at? What do they think? What do they feel? And that's really important in our industry because the realtors, it's not just a customer, it's a paycheck, it's their grocery bill, it's their mortgage bill. It's really important when they give us a customer, they're giving us everything. Absolutely, they are. And so you were there and that's an, an old school established real estate company in your area, right? And mm -hmm. it was an independent company, right? If I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. They've been in the industry. They've been in business over 50 years. And they, you were the over, rock of the of the of the city, the old rock. <laughs> so for 17 years, you would go to work every day in one of their real estate offices, right? Mm -hmm. And you sit amongst a whole bunch of realtors. All day, every day, in the box. <laughs> and then about three years ago, you and I met. And I'll never forget our first conversation because mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember this, but our first conversation, you said something, I'm paraphrasing here, but hey, I'm happy to be on this call. Thanks, but there's zero chance I'm moving and uh, don't try to get me because I'm not going anywhere. Zero. I was, yeah. I was happy. I was great. I sat in a box and I liked it. I liked yeah. my box. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And then we uh, had a real nice chat that day. And then we actually spoke again a couple of weeks later. And uh, we started talking about at least what would it look like if you weren't in that box? And is there any pros uh, 
versus the pros that were at sitting in the box. And ultimately, you made the decision to get out of that box and start your own, basically, you know, run Chris Inc. And uh, mm-hmm. so talk to me a little bit about that transition, because you were worried, and rightly so. You were a single yeah. mom, raising mm-hmm. a daughter, that you were the sole income provider, and you had stability in the box, and you certainly uh, kind of knew what you were getting in the box, and you were contemplating stepping out into something where you had no idea if any of the referral sources would follow you or if you'd starve or whatever. Tell me a little bit about the mental side of making that decision, some of the thought processes you had. Hardest decision, you know, uh, of the life when you step out of safety and security, what you feel is safe and what you feel is secure. And the, to move from certainty to uncertainty is is really hard. And I think that the first year for a loan officer, when you're stepping out, it's really difficult to believe that it's going to be okay. So you just wake up every day and you think positive thoughts and you, you know, think positive words. And I would, I, I picked them, I picked a mantra. I picked, you know, that I can do all things. And I, I created, um, I created a mouse pad. Yeah. I can do, I can do all things. And I, you know, you have to think the right thought. Then you have to think the right words. And, I created, you know, you need when somebody said, how are you? I would say I'm terrific. I'm great. (laughs) And if I was really bad, I'd say I'm totally terrific. (laughs) And that was really I'm going to die. But it was I. So I thought the right thing that I can do all things. And I spoke the right words that I'm terrific. I'm great. I'm wonderful. Everything's great. And then you got to take the action, right? You got to show up every day and you got to work. You got to take the action. You got to take the steps and plant the seeds, and make the phone calls and send the emails. You have to work. And three years later is the greatest move of my life. You know, we're past the uncertainty. Now we're certain. And now this is a business. It's a real business. And I run it like a business. And I get to help people all day, every day. And I'm so grateful that you believed in me. And I'm grateful for SMP. And I'm just greatest day of my life meeting you (laughs) well that that really is turned on its head it's really the greatest day for us was meeting you because um i remember the the day and i remember thinking in my head i really care about this lady i don't know her well yet but i can tell she's the kind of person i want to get to know better and you know me i do care and i and i cared about whether this was the right move for you because i didn't want one day to go by where you didn't have the resources that you needed to fund your family. And I didn't want you to take a risk that, um, you know, could backfire and, and would do harm to your family. I actually cared about that. And, and um, I knew in my heart that there was zero chance you wouldn't be better off, but it's one thing me knowing it, it's another thing you knowing it. And so when you made that leap, um, did any of the realtors from the old place continue to work with you or did they all abandon you or how, how did that work when you did decide to go? What I learned is that people were not using me for where I was. They were using Christine Kennedy for Christine Kennedy. Yep. And I had to learn that, um, you know, but they were calling me. They were trusting me with their customers. They were trusting my brain my heart, my feelings, my motivation, they were trusting me. And I think that when you're in an in-house lending situation, sometimes they choose to use you because it's just proximity. It's just right. easier. And they're, right. they're taught from the top, you know, use the family of services, right? Because they're all feeding each other and it makes sense. And, and it, it, it can be wonderful. The problem where I was at, it was a tiny little box, yeah. And it was tiny. And the benefit of getting outside of that box is I got to open up, you know, SMP, we follow guidelines, right? We follow Fanny, Freddie, and HUD. Yeah. That's what we follow. And that there's no overlays. And I remember a meeting with, you know, when I came up to uh, Michigan and I met with Allison, she was going through all of the options and the scenarios of what you can do. Um, honestly, I, I was angry for a solid six months that I was saying no to all the previous people I was saying no to. And I was saying no because they were emotionally underwriting. 
right? They would feel. Right. Right. <laughs> and, you know, at, at Success, we operate by guidelines, right? If Fanny says we can do it, we can do it. If Freddie says- Not to our guts, but the guidelines, right? We say yes, and we follow guidelines. And that's what I love because if you don't know the answer to something, you can look it up. And then obviously at s and we have the greatest staff, the most beautiful people that want to help. You know, we have a scenario desk. You don't know the answer, you can call. You can call an underwriter. You can call your AE. I could call you, right? right. You know, everybody is willing to help and look and help you look for the answer. And I think that initially it was my few that came over because they just liked me. And I was a single mom and they wanted me to do well. And they, they, the few, the few follow and then the reputation goes out. Right. And then you get say, Oh, well, so-and-so said no, but Christine said, yes. So-and-so said no, but S and P said yes. And you get those yeses and then the yeses just magnify. And then before you know it, realtors are calling me. You've never even heard of and saying, I heard that you can do condo financing for 3% down. I heard that you can, you know, and all these products that we have that you don't know what you don't know when you're in a tiny little box because you're just right. trained to say no. <laughs> I've heard you talk a lot uh, in the past about condos and obviously being in Florida, that's a huge uh, mm -hmm. situation in Florida. Um, I've heard you speak pretty favorably. Are, are the way that you can do condos now, is that different from the past? And is it helping you with more people? The old way of lending, the old way, the old box lending is that there's a condo list. And if you're not on the list, you have to put 25% down. And that is not true. SMP, we don't have a list. We go by Fannie Mae guidelines. And if the condo meets Fannie Mae guidelines, we say yes. And we say yes to 3% down. So if the condo is free of litigation, meaning that you know they're free of litigation. Mm -hmm. They have 10% in reserves and um, you know they're not currently being rented out. It's not a condo towel. Right. You, can get, you can get financing and Florida is a lot of condos. And so I say yes weekly to a condo buyer that would have otherwise been told no at every other mortgage company in my city. So- uh, That's fantastic. I love hearing mm -hmm. that obviously. And mm -hmm. again, and what I love, though, too, is that you're smart enough to seek that out, figure it out and then promote it. And your reputation is such that, you know, like you said, all of a sudden the calls start coming. Hey, I heard you can do this. Hey, I heard you can do that. I heard from so and so that you're so great. And, and mm -hmm. does that you, you obviously now work with realtors from multiple different companies versus just one, because I mm -hmm. assume when you're at the old school place that the other realtors at other companies probably weren't using you mm -hmm. at that time. Has that helped your business at all? Have you been able to form some good relationships with some people outside of that company? All of my, all of my, when you look at my realtor list, they're from every company in, in every, every real estate company in the city. Somebody uses me. From each of them, right? The uh, the old box is gone. All of that's wide open, and you know everybody everybody will send their customer into my branch because it's it's right as before when you're in a box, they're not sending your customer to you because they're not going to send their customer to a real estate office. Correct. So now that on my own branch, they'll they'll freely you know send their customers. They'll give them my cell phone number. They'll give them my work number. They'll send their customers. They'll come in with their customers. They'll say you know, you, you really need some extra help. So let's go see Christine. And they, right. they come to my branch and they come in and they old fashioned and they sit down with a pen and paper and want to bring me their pay stops. And then of course you have the, the newer, you know, the other customers that want to do everything online and they want just the website, the application, apply online, upload their documents and never speak to anybody. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we can, you know, with success, we can, tailored to all of those customers and we can change our and our personality based on what our customer wants and what our customer needs we can base it around there how is um you've built a small team over the last couple of years right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and how is that team operating are they are they operating in the fashion that you like and are they you know has mm -hmm. that been a, a betterment to your business and life having that team versus before when i met you three years ago the old box company 
didn't believe in assistance. They were not right. in the assistant model. Right. So it was everything. It was basically what I could do on my own time. Right. You only have so many hours in a day mm -hmm. and you are a parent. You have to sleep and you have to eat. And I only yeah. had so many hours in the day so I could only help so many people. And what I love about your model and success's model is that we strategically align people. The loan officer, it's my job to help people who want money. They want to buy a house. They have a customer that wants to buy a house. And all I do is income revenue producing skills. That's all I do. I talk to people. I'm on the phone all day, every day. I'm on the phone. I'm calling people or I'm listening. I'm answering my phone. And we have people in place. We have loan partners. You know, we have processors and of course the underwriting and everything else. But I actually have, you know, partners that help me now that their job is I bring in the business and then their job is to get it through to closing. And that's the difference, I think, um, with old lending, you know, it's basically loan officer. I have friends in the industry that are still in the box and they take the file from the beginning and then they take it to closing and half their day or more of their day is spent on activities that are, are not money making. Right. They're chasing conditions. They're sending emails or whatever else they're doing. That's not efficient. It's not efficient and it doesn't make money and it keeps them. It keeps them limited at whatever they can do in eight or 10 or 12 hours of a day. And then they're exhausted and they're not even efficient when they are working. So, Correct. We've seen that so many times. And, and I just love knowing that you have competent team members who are good at what they're supposed to be good at. And mm -hmm. you're not worried that they're not doing it. Because at the beginning, as we've said on this program a hundred times in, in just general business, it's tough to build teams because you're a perfectionist and you're a level 10 and you do everything almost perfect. And it's hard to find people that do that, but you have found a way to manage your team and to get the most out of them where you're not worried every day if they're doing the right things, right? No, my, um, you and I have had this conversation. I, I'm a checklist queen. I think yeah. all, all greats, all greats in every industry have a checklist. And I have a checklist for everything. I have a checklist for um, when I do a pre-qualification, I have a checklist and I say the same thing every single time when I do a, a online application, I have a checklist. I do the same thing every single time. My team, my loan partners, when they're putting together a file, they have a checklist. And I think all grades have checklists. And if you want to do something, you want to do it the best and the most efficient and you want to do it correctly. And when I find a great new word or a sentence you know, I stick it on my checklist. So I say it every single time. And, you know, if it on, I have a current, a refinance script, right. And you want to take cash out, you want to eliminate your debt. You want to become financially free. Well, every single person I talk to about refinancing, I say the same thing because it right. works. And so I, I, everything that my team does is excellence every single time. And so when you set up a great file in the beginning, which of course my, my loan partners are doing, that's their job. But when they set it up greatly, perfectly in the beginning, as the loan officer, you can kick back and say, my team has it, it's a great file and it's gonna move and we're gonna be clear to close early and everybody's gonna be happy and the money's there. And that's what gives the best experience and then they'll you the repeat customers. Well, I, I know a little bit about how you built the team, and I, I know that you are the checklist queen. It's one of the reasons I know Allison loves you, because she's all about positive affirmations every day, too, and checklists, and, and she always tells me that you are, you and her have that kind of little bond about that kind of stuff. But um, I, I just love mostly about how your life has turned out. And I know that you make good money and all that, and I know that's important to you, but you're not driven by the almighty dollar. And I know that that's not what you chase at all. And mm -hmm. and it's been so gratifying for me to see you smile and to see you be able to go to JW Marriott in Mark Island on your you know retreats and to mm -hmm. have a week off where you can mentally get right and mm -hmm. i just love that you have the freedom to do what it is that you love to do and mm -hmm. um and you've done that because of how you've chosen to run your own mortgage practice under mm -hmm. our umbrella and it just makes my heart warm and happy that you're happy and 
the biggest level of happiness happened recently. And uh, I think you had a big day a month ago, but uh, so you are getting married, correct? I am. I am. So I'm so unbelievably grateful. Um, and I just want to say, just say thank you. Thank you to you and Allison and Owen and Vince and the whole company because you told me it would be okay and you told me you would give me the resources and you told me you would give me the training and the support and you did. You did. And you told you did everything that you said you would do. And I you're good with words, but you mean them. And your integrity level is high and you're the whole company, all 800 of us or however many we have now, everybody is high in integrity and honesty and they do what they say. And it, it's just a wonderful, I'm so blessed and I will be with you for the rest of my career. <laughs> and uh, I'm just, I would encourage anybody watching this and they're fearful and they're scared and they think they're gonna die if, if they, it's just not true. Believe in yourself and believe in something bigger than you and get out of the way and then show up to work every day. Think the right thoughts speak the right words and show up and work and then step out of the way and allow the great life of abundance and contribution and making a difference happen. Well, and I appreciate those awesomely kind words, but you know, our, our contribution has been minuscule compared to what you've done. And it does take a great team and we did provide you the things you said, but most importantly, you know, I've got five takeaways from this, short little interview here, but you know, you go to work. And I think that's one thing we can't get lost in thinking that you just wake up every morning and wave a magic wand or sprinkle mm -hmm. some potion and you're gonna close what you close a year. It's not true. Um, it's just your work's different. And mm -hmm. you're not doing the non-revenue producing activities and your head's clear to do the revenue producing activities and have mm -hmm. them be meaningful. You and I recently had a conversation about a an appointment you had recently. And if you were constantly worried about where's page four of the Wells Fargo bank statement on the Smith file, you couldn't have been as effective at that meeting as if you had all the hours in advance and during the meeting to be clear, but that could be a very large referral based new relationship for you that could lead to, you know, great things for them and for you. Mm -hmm. And I just love the fact that you had the clarity to be able to go into that meeting laser focused and knock it out of the park. And I, I've talked to the people from there and they're like, oh, my goodness, we're the lucky ones. Like they they thought they hit the lottery at that meeting, getting to meet you. No, oh, thank you. It, it so, is um, let people let your let your partners do what they do. Right. Give yeah. them a give them a checklist and teach them and then step out of the way and do the bigger things help more people <laughs> you've grown a real business um mm -hmm. you're gonna marry an unbelievably great guy named trey who loves you dearly and mm -hmm. and i know you're his world and he's yours and mm -hmm. i couldn't be happier when i heard that news because i got to know him a bit and i think he's <laughs> just a wonderful guy that is perfect for you and mm -hmm. uh i just think you know great things happen to great people i know your daughter's doing well at college and mm -hmm. She's, you know, blossoming because of the foundation that you were able to lay for her to mm -hmm. grow into the woman that she's becoming. And and not only are you awesome at mortgages, but you're a great parent. You're a great friend. And, uh, you know, I just so happy for what's happened to you. So they're going to yell at me if I don't end this because we're coming up to our uh, our time limit. But mm -hmm. just another woman of success at the highest level. This lady's a total 10. And uh your friendship means more to me than the business side does, but I'm appreciative of both. And thank you for joining us today um, and, and shedding some great insight on how someone could truly step out of a very apparent safe place into something a little scary and yet blossom as a result of it and have a better life today than you did three years ago because of the choices you made. So I appreciate you. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> All right, you have a wonderful day. And to everybody, please keep turning in, tuning in to Success Unlimited, uh, specifically this series of Women of Success, where we're going to constantly bring um, women that have reached unbelievable heights in our industry and have really made a difference in the lives of many. And our mission here at Success Unlimited on the platform is simply to help loan officers nationwide 
have a more freedom filled life, have a better life, and to do so uh, you know, on a daily basis through working smarter, not harder. So thanks so much, everybody, and we'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.